Our planet is going through a new phase of climate change, and with each passing year, humanity finds it increasingly difficult to adapt. At the beginning of 2025, there was a noticeable increase in volcanic and seismic activity. In this edition, we will focus specifically on this issue. The Kalauea Volcano in Hawaii, USA, has been erupting continuously since the end of last year. During the eruption, eight instances of lava discharge were recorded, the most recent occurring on February 3rd. The duration of the eruptions ranged from 14 hours to 8 days. During the active phase of the eruption, the height of the lava fountains reached 100 meters, accompanied by volcanic gas emissions. Fragments of volcanic rocks and ash were found at the observation point in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. In nearby villages, thin strands of volcanic glass, known as Pele's hair, were discovered, which can pose a threat to the respiratory system. Volcanic activity is also increasing in Iceland. On January 2nd, a swarm of underground tremors was recorded near the Grotarvatn volcano, lasting about 40 minutes. Experts suggest that this could be related to a deep magmatic intrusion. Throughout January, approximately 100 earthquakes with magnitudes up to 3.2 were recorded. It is notable that the most recent eruption of this volcanic system occurred in the 10th century AD. On January 14th, a powerful swarm of earthquakes also began in the northwestern part of the Bardarbunga caldera. The magnitude of the strongest earthquake was 5.1. Particularly alarming is the fact that the earthquake's epicenter was at a very shallow depth, only 100 meters. In the chain of the northern Mariana Islands, the underwater volcano Ahi is showing signs of concerning activity. Satellite images taken on January 2nd, 10th, and 18th captured a plume of discolored water, which is clear evidence of the volcano's activity. Additionally, on January 9th, pressure sensors located underwater near Wake Island also recorded signals confirming the occurrence of an eruption. The Ahi volcano is located near the Mariana Trench, where the Earth's crust is particularly thin. According to calculations, an increase in magmatic activity in this area could lead to a magma breach, which might result in catastrophic consequences for all life. The eruption of this volcano indicates an increase in endogenous activity. In January of this year, the Indonesian volcano Ibu showed a sharp increase in activity. In the first 20 days of the month, Ibu erupted more than a thousand times. In comparison, just over 2,000 eruptions were recorded throughout 2024. The area around the volcano also witnessed crustal deformation and an increase in the number of shallow volcanic earthquakes. It is worth noting that during the eruptions from January 1st to 15th of this year, ash plumes rose up to 4 kilometers above the volcano's crater, significantly surpassing the level in 2023, when the ash plume height was around 1.5 kilometers. After the most powerful eruption on January 15th, the danger level was raised to the maximum, level 4. Authorities announced the need to evacuate 3,000 people from nearby settlements. However, despite the danger, many locals refused to leave their homes, citing that they were used to such situations and were currently occupied with harvesting. In the area of the main Ethiopian rift, there is also an increase in seismic and volcanic activity. The Erta Ele volcano in Ethiopia is known for its persistent lava lake, which has been active for much of the past few decades. However, on January 13th, 2025, the erupted lava not only filled the old caldera, but, for the first time in 20 years, breached its boundaries and reached the tourist campsites. 
the intense seismic volcanic crisis in the area of the Fentala and Dauphin volcanoes, which began at the end of last year, continues. It is believed that the cause of this activity is the intrusion of magma beneath the Earth's surface. Additionally, on January 3rd, a new vent formed on the Dauphin volcano, from which powerful jets of steam, rocks, and mud are erupting. By January 13th, 124 earthquakes with magnitudes ranging from 4.1 to 5.7 had been recorded in the area of the volcanoes. The massive fissures in the ground caused by the earthquakes led to the destruction of infrastructure and injuries among the local population. Safety in Athens. A tremor. The intense swarm of earthquakes led to the mass exodus of people from the Greek island of Santorini. At least 11,000 people left the island using all available means, such as planes, boats, private yachts, and even excursion vessels. Seismic activity began in this region on January 24th. The earthquakes occurred along a tectonic fault near two volcanoes, Santorini and the underwater Colombo. Since Greece is located in a seismically active zone, earthquakes are not uncommon, so this did not alarm anyone. However, on February 1st, the frequency and magnitude of the tremors sharply increased, and within three days, the volcanic island was shaking every few minutes. Over the course of four days, the National Observatory of Athens recorded more than 31,000 earthquakes in the area. In the evening of February 5th, a strong seismic event with a magnitude of 5.2 occurred, after which a state of emergency was declared on the island. Firefighters and medical personnel arrived on Santorini in case the situation worsened. Additional ferries were organized for the large number of people wishing to leave the island. However, the storm that began hampered the evacuation, paralyzing not only the movement of small vessels, but also ferry services. As a result, many people were left waiting at the Santorini port for an opportunity to leave the island. Unfortunately, this is just one of many examples of the surge in seismic and volcanic activity at the beginning of 2025. On January 22nd, residents of several areas in Colombia witnessed an eruption of the Nevado del Ruiz volcano. In cities located 30 kilometers from the crater, a large amount of ash fell. A week prior, starting from January 14th, seismic activity near the volcano increased, which is linked to the movement of magma and gases. This year, many other volcanoes in Colombia, Costa Rica, Russia, Indonesia, the USA, Mexico, Japan, Italy, Peru, Vanuatu, and the Philippines have also shown activity. Even greater danger comes from supervolcanoes, whose powerful and massive eruptions in the past have led to planet-wide catastrophes. Today, large cities are often located in their giant calderas. The Sakurejima volcano is located in the Ara Caldera, which is one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes in the world. Since January 20th, the Japan Meteorological Agency has recorded an increase in the activity of the volcano. Over the course of the month, several explosive eruptions occurred, during which ash plumes rose up to 2,700 meters above the crater, and large fragments of volcanic rocks were scattered as far as 1,300 meters. On January 30th, volcanic lightning was observed during the eruption. The expansion of the deeper parts of the caldera, as recorded by satellite observations, also raises serious concerns among experts. On February 5th, an earthquake with a magnitude of 3.1 occurred in the area of the Italian supervolcano Campi Flegre. The epicenter was located about two kilometers deep, very close to the volcanic caldera. Over the course of five weeks, 281 earthquakes with magnitudes up to 3.3 were recorded in the region. Seismic activity in the area of the Campi Flegre caldera is increasing, as evidenced by the rise in the magnitude of the earthquakes. 
It is important to emphasize that the depth of the underground tremors is also increasing, which may indicate the activation of the magmatic source. In the area of the supervolcano, the Earth's crust has been gradually deteriorating since 1984. Scientists are also observing changes in the isotopic composition of sulfur in volcanic gases. According to them, this indicates the influx of magma from deeper reservoirs, which accelerates the breakdown of the Earth's crust. The state of the Campi Flegre volcanic caldera is causing increasing concern, as nearly half a million people live in the red zone, which is in close proximity to it. And this is far from a complete list. This surge can be explained by several factors. Firstly, the Earth's core is exposed to external cosmic influences, which provide it with additional energy. This energy is converted into heat, making the mantle hotter and the magma more fluid and flowing. As a result, the flow of heat from the Earth's interior to the surface increases, leading to the formation of new magmatic sources. Secondly, the world's oceans, now polluted with plastic, are no longer able to efficiently dissipate heat from the Earth's interior. This also contributes to the accumulation of the planet's internal energy. These factors not only lead to the intensification of geodynamic processes, but also to large-scale climate anomalies and catastrophes. A few years ago, an international team of scientists presented a mathematical model that accurately describes this dynamic. Their forecasts for 2025 are grim. But instead of focusing on the core of the problem and searching for solutions, humanity continues to engage in anything but what is necessary for the survival of civilization.